Hey everybody, we are back with another Jordan Samuel Skin Talks. How are you doing? SPF today. All right, let me get on my little. So what I'm doing with SPF, this might not be everybody's cup of tea, but people always ask me about what SPFs I prefer or use, which I recommend. Um, and so here we are. So my most used, most repurchased SPF is this. This is a UK EU version. I get it when I'm over there or I try to get it shipped if I don't have a trip over there and I need more of it. But one time I brought like 20 back with me. So we stock up and we use it both. My husband and I use it so we know we're going to go through it. It's not going to expire. It's going on my face, my scalp, my neck. It is La Roche-Posay, obviously. Amphelios UV Moon 400, 50 plus. Invisible Fluid, the non-perfumed, non-tinted one. This to me is just, I think any skin condition can wear this. It's just gonna be what you prefer. It's very much a thin, runny, milky liquid. I wanna shake it up a bit. Um, so for me, I have to use this with moisturizer and serum underneath. If you're somebody that would not want to use a moisturizer, depending on your skin condition, you probably wouldn't be into this. They have another one, which we will talk about, that can be that replacement. Or, um, if you are somebody that uh, just is really, really dry and needs both moisturizer and a rich SPF, this wouldn't be for you. But otherwise, I just feel like, I mean, you can see the light drops coming out of the bottle. I'm not obviously showing you the appropriate amount to use here. I'm just showing you the texture, the finish. Um, I really enjoy this. So as lightweight as this is, the finish on it really is lovely. It's not mattifying, it's not drying, it's not dehydrating. There's an SPF smell for sure. It is not overbearing, it is not overpowering. It's an SPF 50. This one is a joy to reapply. It doesn't, I don't have a cast. It doesn't affect my beard. Obviously my skin tone is very white, very pale. Um, not very pale, but um, I, I, it would not have a cast on me. Um, but it doesn't affect my beard either. I'm not gonna say pricing, but it's a 50 mil size. I feel like the pricing on it is very fair for the quality. For me, there's no eye tearing, there's no eye sting, there's no sting on my skin, there's no redness. I know that's not gonna be the case for everybody, but this is my most used, most repurchased SPF. La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Moon 400 50 plus Invisible Fluid, non-perfumed, non-tinted. Okay, so next up, I know I talked about it, but another La Roche-Posay. This is, I don't wanna say it's basically the same thing, but basically if you're like, love this, too light for me, here you go. So this is La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Moon 400, 50 plus, hydrating cream, non-perfumed, non-tinted. So essentially, same protection, same filters, um, just different base formula. Obviously you will see this one pop out, pump out, um, and it is more of a, where you can already see like a richer, buttery, for lack of a better term, cream, as opposed to that lighter fluid that was over on this side of my hand. Same thing, same exact smell. So yes, there's an SPF aroma um, on this one. Also same thing. No eye tearing, no eye sting, no redness on my skin tone, um, no itching, no stinging, um, no cast on my skin tone, no cast in my beard. Um, again, that is on my skin tone, but both of these, you can't go wrong. I use this more often. I find this is a joy and an ease to reapply. I'm certainly using this in spring and summer. Maybe I go into this more in fall, winter, which is absolutely the case. Um, I love the finish on both. I just find myself reaching for this one more. They'll both be linked though. Now, two US based, and if I did not mention, this is UK, EU as well. So again, getting this when you're over there or getting this online from what I will link below. Two 
US sunscreens that basically I'm using like spring, summer, fall, winter, and have loved both. Um, Beat the Sun from Crave Beauty, lightweight sunscreen, broad spectrum, SPF 40, PA++++. This is a 50 mil size, which I, so I think they're all, they, these are all 50 mil size. I know I said that for the first one, every single thing I'm showing you is 50 mil size, easy. Um, this is a chemical US based formula. Um, so if you're somebody that knows that you get on with a chemical based sunscreen in the US, fine, you'll be absolutely fine with this as far as I'm concerned. If you're not, check in with it, patch test it, absolutely do all those things. This is another one, I just love the finish. So it's sort of between, if I were to have to pinpoint, it's not as fluid as the first La Roche-Posay one I showed you, it is certainly not as creamy as the second La Roche-Posay one I showed you. Um, so I guess I would say it's in between leaning closer to the first one, you know, a little runny, not buttery at all. It has a beautiful finish. It definitely has that typical, it is non-fragranced, um, which I actually prefer for SPF. As somebody who can get irritated by SPF, I wanna try to reduce my skins um, irritants, but I've loved it. I've loved the finish. This bottle is, I don't know if you can see, we, I don't even know if there's a single use left in here. Um, it's a great price. I believe it is, I want to say it's, it's either between 18 and $20. It's either 18 or $20. It will be down below. Um, but I've loved it. My husband and I have flown through it. We were surprised because while we both get on with US chemical based sunscreens, Sometimes we can get a bit of eye sting, eye irritation, um, sometimes a little bit of redness. I will say with this, I didn't get eye sting, I did not get redness, but my eyes did get teary as the day went on. There are ways to completely circumvent that, not have it. You can do the, you know, SPF stick, you can do the whole powder situation, but it was not a deal breaker. I loved it. As you can tell, the bottle's almost gone. Notarium, Duglo Moisturizer SPF 50, Broad Spectrum SPF 50, another one, US based, chemical based SPF. This one is such a beautiful finish. So rich um, and creamy and moisturizing. I would say without being heavy, I know that might not be, because this is the last one I'm showing and telling, I'm just doing it on my whole hand. Um, I, I could see people feeling like this might be too much for them, but where I love that is where somebody wants to use the SPF as the moisturizer. And you know, the whole thing with that is it's A-OK, -okay, just use the proper amount. Um, I know there's a big thing of like, oh, you should, you should separate the two, you get better formulas, you get this and that. At the end of the day, your SPF already has humectants, it already has, you know, emollients and, you know, whether it's silicones or oils or antioxidants in there. So even if it's not saying moisturizer, it's giving enough to, depending on your skin condition, that you can use it as a moisturizer. The big thing is just using enough. And I know that the flip side is if it says SPF and moisturizer in one, people tend to use less. Just make sure you're using the right amount and you're golden. Um, so that's why with this, I feel like a lot of people can get away with this as their moisturizer during the day over something like our Hydrate Facial Serum Perfection. Easy peasy. I could absolutely do that. For me, this has become more of a fall winter SPF. It gets so damn dry in the city. So I have my Hydrate Facial Serum on, I have my Performance Eye Gel on, I have my Moisture Recovery Cream on, and then I have this on which I know might seem like a lot to people, but it's it's perfect. I have my sun protection, I have so much moisture in my skin. It might get a little like, oh, it feels like you had a lot on, but I feel that it's just protected and happy and healthy and I'm always glowing. This is $22 for the 50 mil size. Again, no cast on me, no cast in my beard. All of these, no cast on me, no cast in my beard, but again, look who's talking. Um, I mentioned the beard because that's my issue. 
I could use a zinc SPF around my forehead, nose, and cheeks. The second it goes into the beard, if it's tinted, it becomes a really strange color. And if it is non-tinted, it be you see sort of violet in my beard. So really not my first choice, but to each their own. Um, $22 for 50 mil. I believe, I'm not sure if it's still on the site, that they were selling these together as a duet. I think you got 10% off, so $20 for each one. Um, I love it. Same thing, they all have a really light, as typical SPF smell. It's not a fragrance, which like I said, I prefer as somebody who can get irritated with um, sunscreen and sometimes with fragrance as well. Not all fragrance, but some. So I prefer that. My camera rudely cut me off and said it was busy. Are you busy? I'm busy. Naturium, similar to the Crave Beauty, I didn't have any redness, I did not have any stinging, I did not have any eye stinging. I did potentially sometimes have a bit of eye watering, eye tearing when I use this over a moisturizer. So a little bit of think of like slip and slide in, like if it's over a more emollient cream. When I use this just over serum by itself, I actually was fine. But given the US landscape of sunscreens, I was extremely impressed by both Naturium and Crave Beauty. And then I still have my gold standards of the La Roche-Posay products. Um, so those are the four SPFs that I am most frequently using. I also have a Garnier SPF that is basically the sister, you could say, to this one. They're really, really similar, but I do prefer this one by this much more. So I hope that helps. All the info will be down below, and until next time, bye.